Hi, this is Matt from Flowbox. I want to show you how we've improved lifetime settings in Flowbox 1.5. In this example, we've created roto for part of the character. We'll need roto shapes for a specific range of frames, not for the entire sequence. Let's go to the shape list. If I select individual shapes, you can see the keyframes on the timeline. If I select a group containing all of the shapes, I will see all of the keyframes combined. I can see that I'm only using those shapes in a specific range of frames. Now I want to set the lifetime for this group. Just select the folder, enable the small hair bit symbol representing lifetime, and then go to the timeline. Go to the frame where you want the shapes to be enabled. Press Ctrl I. You will see green markers appear. They represent the lifetime. Go to the last frame and press Ctrl O. And that's it. The lifetime for this group is set. As you can see, from now on, shapes and entire folders of shapes are visible only inside the lifetime range. If you want to adjust the range, click and drag the green markers, just like that. This will help you to organize your roto work and help you to work in a clean way.